Hi everyone, it's Susan Seiler here for Cycle 3 Week 2 Equipping Video for Science. It is Water Drop Lens number 70 in the Van Cleves. Our materials for CC Livermore is going to be a towel, since we'll be working with water, napkins, a container, a sheet with um, a printed, a sheet protector with printed, a printed sheet on the inside. We will also have wire, maybe you can see it better on the, well, we'll also have wire pre-cut to six inches, a magnifying glass, and a pipette for some expansion activities along with various pencils and color pencils. So the experiment is discovering how a water drop simulates an eye lens. And it actually works fairly well. Um, there will be the wires already pre-cut. If you are the first class, you'll make the loops. If you are not the first class, the loops may be already made, although I think I will have enough individual wires for each student, and I will let you know if I do. They can certainly take them home to experiment with um, more over the weekend. So the procedure is you take your wire, you wrap it around one end of a pencil. It needs to be completely closed needs to be completely closed and touching and even overlapping the other side. I hope you can see this well. It needs to be completely closed, touching, overlapping the other side in order for the water drop to stay in the wire. Then you dip the water or you dip the um, wire into the water, which you have poured from your bottle, and you hover it over the words to see it magnified. I know you can't see this in the video, but it does work quite well. Um, however, I don't think that that is going to take a full 30 minutes. So as the expansion activity, we have you know a magnifying glass so that they can see the convexness of the lens and how this also magnifies similarly to the water drop. But I also have these pipettes. So give your students a little bit of water and a pipette. You don't need to give them very much. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to put some droplets around and then move the camera so that you can see it. Hopefully that will work. The smaller the droplet, the larger the magnification because the greater the curvature of the, the greater the curvature of the lens, in this case the water drop. You can see that the water that is a, more of a big puddle over on this side when I bring the video down, you will see that there's very little, if any, magnification because the water is essentially flat. So um, hopefully when I bring this down, it will look good for you. Let's see. Let's see if this will... Can you see that? There you go. So I um, I know this will fill the rest of the time. Students have great fun with pipettes. They will have great fun making very tiny drops, making larger drops, um, making the water you know, more of a flat surface and observing the differences. Also between this and viewing it through a magnifying glass and using the wire again, I think you can really fill the 30 minutes. Make sure you're talking about the why section in the Van Cleves book and referencing that, that is a great resource and really the primary one that you need. Of course, if you have any um, visuals that you wanna bring in on an eye, you are welcome to do that. But um, this should fill up your time. I hope that helps you. God bless you this week.